We all like new shiny things, and Junction 19 of the A12 near Chelmsford has recently taken delivery of a new road bridge. I say recently, it was installed in September 2023, but in terms of road infrastructure, that's like yesterday. It costs £14 million and measures 161 metres long across three spans. It's made of that horrible weathering or caught and steel. It looks like it's rusted before you even bolt it together, but it's supposed to, because this actually protects the metal from the elements. This metal also offers low maintenance, low cost, and quick construction, so there's a lot of good reasons to use it, but it looks shite. So what does the bridge do? Well, it was built as part of a massive scheme that's been ongoing since around 2005. We'll look at that in a moment, but the bridge has been put in place to link a newly built road to the Boreham Interchange or Junction 19 of the A12. The new road has been numbered as the A131, but it's also known as the Bewley Parkway. Why do we need a new road? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, the traffic in the area is a nightmare. Before the new road and bridge, traffic looking to access the A12 at Junction 19 only had a handful of route choices, which has led to the roads becoming gridlocked at certain times of the day. This is made worse by the previous A131 that's also used as a route to access the A12. In simple terms, you've got all of these roads funneling traffic onto roads in a junction that can't handle it. Secondly, they're building a few houses right next to the junction. Coming soon to the east side of Chelmsford, Bewley. Not a housing estate, but a residential community comprising of 3,600 houses with a host of amenities like a new school, park, railway station, dominoes, and of course a fat wedge of profits for the shareholders. The project is a joint effort between the local council and property developers, with the council securing around £220 million of funding from the government, which will go towards building a new railway station and the supporting infrastructure. The property developers will build the houses, new schools, shops, blah blah blah. With all of these new houses and existing traffic problems, it does of course make sense to build a new road, but what doesn't make sense is that this new road is simply bolted on to the Boreham interchange. Whilst a minimal effort has been made to make the junction flow better, this has simply resulted in a slight extension of the junction, some lane rearrangement and the addition of several sets of traffic lights. Here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now. So about the same then. Whilst this new junction arrangement is unlikely to help solve any of the traffic issues, it is merely a temporary solution in theory. We've seen before that Essex Council had a slightly different interpretation of the word temporary, which takes us back to the scheme devised in 2005. In short, the plan is, or was, to build a nice dual carriageway connecting the A12 to the A131 at Great Lees. This would then offer a full dual carriageway connection between Braintree and Chelmsford that bypasses a lot of the built-up areas on the east side of Chelmsford, and the Crap Borum Interchange would see many revisions to allow for this connection to be made, hence the bodge job that we see today being considered as a temporary solution. Will the revised interchange be any better? I highly doubt it, but there may be a slightly bigger issue in as much as they don't have the money to build it, or the dual carriageway bypass for that matter. It was realised some years ago that despite the massive amount of funding given by the government, it wasn't enough to finish the plan in its entirety, leading to the risk of the entire project being cancelled. The compromise they made was to build what we see today with a view of upgrading the interchange and installing the dual carriageway once further funds become available. Bewley Parkway is therefore a single carriageway road, but should have been a dual carriageway, and interestingly we can see where space has been left alongside the road for additional carriageways to be added at a later stage. When will that later stage be? Good question. The latest news I can find is that as of January 2024, the missing dual carriageway construction project is open for bids from developers. What this means is that they still haven't secured the funding for it, and the council's website suggests that the bypass will be delivered when required. To be honest, they f***ed it up. Of course it's the fault of Covid, Ukraine, cost of living, environment, supply chain issues, but the bottom line here is that they planned a project, received funding for it, and somehow it's been agreed that they'll deliver only half of the project for the same amount of money. With the railway station planned to open in 2025, that makes it exactly 20 years to complete half of the plan. On the plus side, we've got a janky interchange and a rusty looking bridge. Thanks for watching.